Hi, Paxton Cooper, Vice President of Product Management at Mozilla. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple of features of the Firefox OS device, which we announced here at Mobile World Congress today. Uh, this particular device, the hardware is produced by ZTE. Um, the device um, to be launched by ZTE is called the ZTE Fire. And I believe the colors are blue and orange uh, that you'll see this device uh, delivered in. So, um, you know, we've got the home screen here. Uh, basically, I have the ability to, you know, select different applications that I want immediate access to here on the home screen. Um, we've got the uh, dialer application. In this case, I was looking at one of my contacts earlier. Uh, you know, what we demonstrated here tonight was the fact that we've got pre-integration of social networks like Facebook and, and so on into the contacts application. Uh, I can actually, you know, go from the, the contacts app and, you know, view the Facebook profile of my friends or actually send them a message or post on their wall. Um, obviously, it's a smartphone, so I've got a basic dialer here where I can go and actually make a phone call. One of the uh, unique features of Firefox OS is that we have enabled a capability called dynamic app search um, directly into the OS. And so by swiping left, uh, you can actually engage the dynamic app search, uh, which basically allows you to you know, pick any topic, search for any topic, and you know, pull up apps um, that have pre-populated that particular topic into them and you can use them on a transient basis. Um, the idea here is that you know on most smartphones you have, you know, we've all done it, we have a lot of applications that we you know loaded up onto our device, we maybe use them once or twice. Uh, and then we have no need for them, but you know, as Jay said earlier, you have this graveyard of apps that are sitting on your device. Um, in this concept I can basically you know search so, you know, I actually was doing a search earlier for Prometheus, uh, which was a, a movie that I saw last year that, you know, I was, uh, you know, pretty fond of. And uh, what the device actually will do is bring up apps that are relevant to that particular content. So give it a second here. Again, I apologize. The Wi-Fi uh, here in the basement is not that great. But what you would see uh, if the Wi-Fi was working was basically apps populated here. One of the examples that, that Jay showed on stage was the IMDB web application uh, that would pop up and it would basically pre-populate with Skyfall or Prometheus or whatever the movie was. And you can bring all the information uh, down that, that you wanted to view. So I'll go back here and show you some of the other uh, apps on the device. So, one of the things to keep in mind is that um, this OS is completely implemented uh, as a web platform. So, the entire experience, um, the UI, all the applications and services are HTML5, CSS, uh, JavaScript based. So, for example, got my video application, videos that I've sideloaded onto the device. Uh, I can view and play. In this case, this is a roller coaster that uh, the children were riding the other day. It's got a picture gallery. This was actually a picture that I took here at the, uh, you know, here at the press conference. I can thumb through. I've got a music player. Again, you know, all these applications are implemented in HTML5. What about integration of like Google services? Is that something that, that's going to happen on this OS? Specifically, things like Gmail like or G Gmail, G Plus. Um. Yeah. So again, if it's implemented as a, you know as a web application, mm -hmm. um, I can actually you know access it on this device. I can either access it through my browser or I could store the application onto the device so that I can you know uh, you know download content from it locally, store it locally, have access to it for later. Calendar application. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of quickly going through all the basic things that you would expect. Sure. Uh, you know, there's an email application which may or may not boot up for me because I think it's gonna, you know, try and rely on uh, the Wi-Fi. But you know, I can author, compose a message. One of the other things that uh, I think was demonstrated earlier uh, was games. So this is the uh, Poppet application. And you're going to be using Nokia Maps for the mapping services. Correct. So I, I'm not going to uh, claim to be an 
expert at playing the game, but you, know, you can see, you know, you can basically have kind of a rich graphics, you know, gaming experience. Um, again, all implemented using HTML5. I also wanted to, you know, kind of show you, give you a couple of screenshots of the marketplace experience. So, you know, we talked about the fact that, you know, each of these devices will ship with the Firefox marketplace, uh, which basically, you know, provides a way for you to discover applications. Uh, you know, purchase applications, uh, you know, the experience is similar to what you would expect in terms of a description of the app, uh, pricing information. Uh, you know, we basically, you know, create, uh, allow the user to create a unique pin that they can use to tie to their payment credentials uh, so that, you know, they don't have to, you know, type in their credit card every time that they make a payment. Uh, we're working with a partner called Bango, uh, who is a financial services aggregator that works across a number of different, um, you know, carriers uh, to help facilitate payment. 